Hey there, Kelly House, home sale counselor with Plus Relocation. Who better to answer your home sale question than the guy with the last name House? And the question today is, what is the difference between direct reimbursement, the BVO, and the AVO home sale programs? Direct reimbursement, uh, this is pretty simple. So the employee will actually sell the home directly to the new buyers and then submit for reimbursement after closing. Those expenses are normally seven to eight percent to cover commission and closing costs. And the benefit here, you have zero risk of this home coming into inventory. The risk or the drawback, it's that those funds that you're reimbursing them for are considered taxable income, and therefore a decision needs to be made of whether or not those are gonna be grossed up. The next level of benefit is the BVO. Uh, BVO stands for buyer value option. In this program, the employee will list the home and market it until an outside offer is received. At that point, the relocation company steps in to purchase the property and become the owners of the home to resell to the new buyers. Again, you have commission and closing costs being covered, but the main benefit with this process is that when it's administered correctly, it creates an IRS tax shelter so that those funds that are being applied do not need to be considered taxable income um, or you know, no, no determination on the gross up. The drawback or the risk here is that if the deal falls through, then you bring that home into your inventory. Uh, that's called fall through and at that point additional expenses start to be incurred. We'll talk about those in the AVO program. So AVO stands for appraised value option, sometimes referred to as guaranteed buyout. Uh, what differentiates this is that if the employee is unsuccessful in selling the home during some minimum marketing requirements, normally 60 to 120 days, they have the option of taking the buyout. Now they take a buyout, they're cashed out their equity and they complete their relocation. At that point, the home comes into inventory. When you bring a home into inventory, you start incurring additional expenses. You have monthly mortgage payments, um, property taxes, insurance, maintenance, and you can have additional loss on sale from where the home was purchased. So as you can imagine, these expenses can add up. Uh, but it's important to forecast what those might be and budget appropriately. The benefit here is kind of twofold. One, if the home sells upfront in that minimum marketing requirement, it looks very similar to the BVO where commissions and closing costs are covered and through a tax shelter. The secondary benefit is that the employee knows a specific end date of when they can take a buyout and complete their relocation. The drawback or risk here, it's really the cost associated with this program when a home comes into inventory. Uh, you're looking at those additional expenses and need to plan for them accordingly. That was a quick look at the three options when selecting a home sale program. I hope you feel confident in making the right choice of uh, benefit for you and your employee. Thank you.